All firms will need to change their work culture and practices. Life after the circuit breaker will not be a return to status quo ante. And that's why MTI and MAM are engaging industry associations, business chambers and firms to help them adapt to these new realities. For example, telecommuting will have to be a default option extended to all staff. And then for those who cannot telecommute, strict, safe management practices will have to be implemented. There will need to be split team arrangements with no cross-deployment of staff, staggered working and lunch, break hours, higher hygiene standards, amongst a whole range of different measures. Within the workplace, there should not be any gathering of staff in groups at any time, be it the pantry or the staff canteen. When we do so, we will start with industries that are critical to the economy and to local employment and that keep us connected to the world and global supply chains. Uh, some sectors will have to wait for a bit more time. For example, entertainment outlets or activities that attract crowds or people in close contact with one another. Uh, to open up safely, we will need to do two other things, which Minister Gan uh, highlighted just now. To ramp up testing, and to harness technology for faster contact tracing. A nationwide testing strategy is being developed even as we scale up testing capacity, as shared by Minister Gan earlier. It will involve more extensive community surveillance so that we are better able to detect any unlinked cases in the community. We will also prioritize the testing of higher risk and more vulnerable groups like the residents and staff of nursing homes and welfare homes, as well as, as well as healthcare workers that have high touch points with the community. And then we will progressively expand testing to the rest of the essential workforce and the broader community in line with the expansion of our testing capacity. On the technology front, we have implemented two key tools. The first is Safe Entry, which is a digital check-in, check-out system to lock the visits by individuals in all business premises and venues. The second is the Trace Together app, which uses Bluetooth on your phones to quickly identify whom you have been near to so that we can track your close contacts when the need arises. The team is now working with Apple and Google so to enhance this app and to make it more effective, especially on iOS phones. Uh, we are also developing solutions for the elderly and young who may not have smartphones. So that's also a group we are focused on. And there's a whole series of work around the technology front. Uh, and when, it's, when the work is ready, we will announce more details.